Prince Harry and Meghan Markle showing any compassion at all to His Royal Highness Prince Charles? Or indeed, are they the ones that have been slighted? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you so much for your company today. And as ever, welcome one and all. I hope you're all keeping well, gearing up and getting ready for Christmas. Yes, finally, I've got some Christmas cards. I know, can't believe it. Got organised, but guess what? All the girls watching this today will know what I mean. This is what men are like. Got the cards, now I forgot to get the stamps. So I've got... <laughs> I've got to go back and get organised with those, but I have found a nice red festive pen to sign them all in, yes. So, <laughs> eventually, they'll probably get out by New Year knowing me, but you know, I mean well, after all. Back as ever though to your break your ball story of the day. On a more serious note, as we know, Prince Charles has had a terrible year so far this year. Uh, let's not forget, you know, that he's had a tough year, not only with his lovely mother, our gracious majesty the Queen, having a slight illness, and of course losing the man that so inspired him and he was very close to, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. Well, recently, of course, reports have emerged that Prince Charles has tried, but failed to reach out to his youngest son, Prince Harry and the former actress Meghan Markle. And it seems odd, doesn't it? Because Harry and Meghan are always spouting this sort of mantra about be kind to people and be compassionate and be inclusive and all that sort of stuff. But it's this time of year that makes you reflect about your families, your loved ones, and whether, of course, you are being kind yourself. A lot of people have saying that Prince Charles, of course, has shown absolute compassion to his youngest son. Let's not forget, he was generous and kind enough to walk Miss Markle's mother down the aisle and seat her, of course, in that wonderful wedding that we all enjoyed way back in 2018. And according to reports, and we always have to say allegedly, Prince Harry hasn't really reached out to his father since he last met and spoke at that terrible sad care situation with, of course, His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. Seems odd, doesn't it? But let's not forget, then, of course, Prince Harry and Meghan both claimed that he was cut off from his father financially. And that wasn't proven to be true either. So a lot of people are now saying over here in the United Kingdom just how compassionate are Harry and Meghan. And when you think about it, it doesn't read well, does it? A lot of people do want to see these families reconciled after all, as I say, this is the time of goodwill and good cheer and festive spirit for all. But who truly should make the first move? According to a very good source at the palace, Prince Charles has tried his very best to reconcile, reaching out on a number of occasions. But apparently there's some kind of stumbling block with Prince Harry. Now, as I've said before, it seems odd, doesn't it, that, you know, Prince Harry was once very close to his father, Prince Charles, and seemingly over the last couple of years, that's all been battered away. What we do know, of course, also, was that Meghan Markle, the actress, was very close to her father. But upon uh, really entering the royal family, she too found a way to dispose of her once loving father. And once again, we always have to say allegedly, but nobody truly knows the reasons why. Moving forward, a lot of people over here are seeing that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's popularity is now at a vastly all-time low. But could a reconciliation, at least between Harry and Prince Charles, be the turnaround that both families need? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.